it's, like, it's extraordinary, really, isn't it? Well, the race is about to get underway. Then the first race of the day, the Swallow Hills Homes F1000 Championship. This is round two of 2020. And the red lights go out and away they go. It's a good start, I think, from Butcher from Poetsy. Matthew Booth, the reigning champion, coming through the middle of the pack. So he's made a good start and he's going to grab fourth as they turn into Abbey Corner for the first time. It's a 15-minute race on the Silverstone International Circuit. Butcher's converting his good start into a good lead. It's Matthew Manette, I think, round the outside to grab second from Falkenham. And then Booth is the next one through. And you can see the rest of the pack flowing through the village hairpin and then through the link section that takes them onto the hangar straight. There's Booth then, the reigning champion. Yes, the car with the distinctive sort of broad arrow stripe over the top of it. It's a maroon car with the white stripe. It's vaguely reminiscent of the John Surtees uh, Can-Am uh, colours of old, and which they transferred into Formula 5000 and Formula 1. But uh, there they go then down into stone. Benefit of these small cars is you can fit a lot of them on the track. So it's not just sort of single file racing as so many of them uh, kind of ultra modern uh, generation of single seaters are. Boo there had, um, was passed. He was passed by James Hills who went round the outside of him former Formula Renault racer from uh, something like 20 years ago, I was told this morning, returning to racing and moved through the pack nicely there and just passed Matthew Booth. Great pass there from Hills. And so he's the one chasing Falkenham now as they turn into Abbey Corner. But it's Matthew Manette second and Paul Butcher leading. Butcher 1.6 seconds clear, so making the most of that. He qualified poorly yesterday with some problems and fought his way up into that coveted eighth position, which gives you the reverse grid. Here's the battle of the third, though. Falkenham in 69, then James James Hills and Matthew Boo chasing. And then yesterday's winner there too, car number two, uh, Dan Clues, and has made a decent start up to sixth. Yeah, that's the pale blue car, isn't it, uh, Dan Clues, that uh, you can see popping out of the slipstream as they come down the hangar straight, uh, where the Formula One cars were pulling phenomenal speeds uh, last month, in the, well, earlier this month, in fact, in the double header uh, Grand Prix here at Silverstone. James Hills has gained another place at Stowe Corner, that time going down the inside of um, Falkenham. So that's James Hills onto the podium. So out of Club Corner comes Butcher. That's the lead he's got over Matthew Manette. Is Manette catching? It was 1.67 seconds, and it's now 1.39, so he is. And here comes Clues. He's uh, trying to come past Falkenham. Booth has already done so. So any Falkenham now starting to drop down the order. Um, a little bit as they make their way down towards village. Jack Tomlin there as well, uh, who came second yesterday in his car racing debut. Look at Dan Gore, he's already into the top 10 from the back of the grid, so that's not a bad start, is it? There's Booth then, he's chasing James Hills for third. Onto the hangar straight they go. Matthew Manette, he's had coaching from Scott Mattel over the winter and he won a monoposto race at Oldham Park last month and he's much, much quicker than last season. He's now in second and behind Matthew Booth is trying to repass James Hills at Stowe Corner and he does so on the inside line. There's Clues, he's in fifth. It's Hills though, still trying to come back there around the outside of James um, Hills. So good battle there then. Hills and Booth side by side for third and fourth positions as they make their way then out of club corner. There's Butcher, maybe on that lap, he's extended his margin again over Manette, but Booth did get third. Yes, that's, uh, that's really brewing up behind the two leaders, isn't it? Because Booth now under attack from the number seven car, which is James Hills trying to get back, but Booth quicker through Abbey Corner. Um, and that's actually left uh, Hills to fend off clues. Uh, Eddie Falkingham in 69 and Jack Tomlin in 60 coming through well. This is where Jack Tomlin really has to learn about racecraft, isn't it? Yesterday he was quick, but he didn't really have any battling to do. Now well, with his reverse grid, he certainly has. Having come out of carts, he's probably not short of racecraft in fairness, but it's just a chance to really uh, get your eye in in, uh, in a bigger machine. And uh, he's going to try to tuck onto the back of that group and uh, learn about getting the toe, which perhaps you don't pick up uh, in, uh, in the carts. Here comes Dan Clues down the inside of James Hills, but Hills fights it out on the outside line to stay ahead as they go down into the Vale then on what is lap four of this race that continues to be led there by Paul Butcher in car number 42. He's made hay, hasn't he? He's moved away. Absolutely. Uh, now Matthew Booth is going after Matthew Manette. So uh, Booth looking quick and making the most of Dan Clues here, not being able to get past James Hills despite that big effort into Stoke Corner last time. That's right, down the uh, order behind Tomlin, it's Alok uh, Iyengar, uh, Adam Walker and Dan Gore. Dean Warren, Elliot Mitchell, Dax Ward behind them, Mark Betts and Peter Lake, the 80-year-old, 
uh, running in 15th place in car number nine. But there's Matthew Booth uh, running the coveted number one uh, as last year's champion. He's now right in the slipstream of Matthew Manette coming down the hangar straight as popping out from behind hills comes Clues. Uh, Clues in the number two car has got the inside line and uh, Falkingham in the dark car behind uh, is close to. Good battling further back here. This is Elliot Mitchell, car number 11, coming past 22. Dean Warren for 11. Mitchell um, was another driver that retired yesterday. So coming through from the back, through club corner. There's uh, Boothy. So he's caught Manette now for second. He got the fastest lap on the previous lap, a 104.35. And he's trying to get past Manette, but Manette defends to the inside line. So Booth has to go around the outside into Abbey. That's not going to work. He found out yesterday when you try and pass Abbey what happens. So he decides to sit behind through there. But then through farm curve, he takes a tighter line. But uh, Manette there, using, he's coaching from Scott Mattel to keep Booth back for now. Yeah, it's doing a job, isn't it? Most of these uh, uh, cars running the Suzuki GSR XR engines in different uh, varieties. Uh, one or two have uh, Yamaha uh, R1s in. So down the hangar straight, Booth has pulled out the toe pretty early this time, so he's keen to get past Matthew Manette. But no, Manette hanging all about behind because James Hills and Dan Clues are still together. Eddie Falkenham is staying with them. Good effort in sixth position with Jack Tomlin in seventh. A tighter line here taken by Clues, which puts him alongside Hills. But in front, Booth is going down the inside of Matthew Manette. So he grabs second, car number one. Booth then, the reigning champion. It was his first season in the category last year. Took the uh, championship former sports special champion with the club two. So he's into second. Third is Manette, but Hills hanging on there in fourth ahead of Dan Clues. Yeah, well, senses of that's all getting a bit tighter uh, now and uh, the next pair uh, behind Tomlin, Iyengar and uh, Walker not that far behind trying to tow themselves up uh, onto the back of the others and uh, there's uh, yeah, Falkingham under attack now from Jack Tomlin the 16 year old great this is through the oh we'll get very very sideways there and that was the 69 car of Falkingham and uh, Tomlin had to come out of the throttle as well, so he hasn't been able to capitalise. But what it's done, it's dropped, uh, dropped Falkingham off the back of the two pale blue cars. The number seven now looking down the inside into Stowe and making it. Seven, but a, a faster run around the outside. No, he's run too wide. The red car, he's got a good exit though. And uh, it's the two blue ones now moving ahead then. And round the outside, uh, in the end of Vale into Club, that was two. Uh, Dan Clues trying to get past the uh, hills. They've got past the... In fact, they've got five of them now running in a line, which is, which is pretty awesome. Yes, they got past Matthew Manette there, Yeah, it was they? Manette, who's been shuffled back down the order. And now round the outside of Manette to Abbey. Here comes Eddie Falkenham. That was a good move, wasn't it? With such quick cars, with so much air. But off the road to Peter Lee at the Vale. Also, we've lost Dan Gore again. So more problems for the Mattel car, drunk car. Here comes 60 now. So this is Jack Tomlin trying to get past Manette. But Manette holds, hangs on this time as they make their way down through the link. But there'll be yellow flags at Vale now for that Peter Lay car that's had a spin. Here they are down the hangar straight and Dan Clues and James Hills are still side by side. This is for third and fourth position. And is Clues going to get past Hills here on the inside? I think he is. He's got the nose in front, but James Hills isn't going to let that go. You can carry the speed on the outside through Stowe in these cars. And then, of course, they meet this yellow flag zone. And in that yellow flag zone is the leader. He's all been all out by himself, Paul Butcher. He didn't win a race last season, but he's halfway through this race, got this gap to move. It was four seconds. Is it going to come down on lap eight? I think it might well have done. Yes, 2.8 seconds on that lap. Booth was a second quicker and still side by side. They're around the outside. Dan Clues now ahead of James Hills. Great battle. Yeah, that's really uh, shaping up very, very well. Clues is uh, stealthily coming up, but it's the works Jedi car. 42, Paul Butcher that leads. This is uh, Tomalin in 60 uh, having a go now at Minette, isn't it? Minette, who defended so stoutly in the early part of the race and now has uh, slid back into the pack. Booth now leads down towards Stowe Corner. There's the number two car, that's Clue 7. Uh, under attack from 69, the resurgent Eddie Falkingham, who's, yes, he's made it. 
uh, into Stowe. So he's having a really good run, the XPA racer. A little bit of little, uh, little puff of flame there in the exhaust on the overrun coming down into uh, Stowe Corner. And there's Mark Betts in the 88 car. He's off in the gravel somewhere. That's at the fir in the first part of the circuit, isn't it? Yes, it looks like it. So Mark Betts out of what was 11th place, the former Sports 1000 racer. But it's Butcher that leads now by only 1.4 seconds. So Matthew Booth is rapidly catching Butcher. Butcher's lapping a couple of seconds off his best. So whether he's uh, put too much into the tyres early on or um, because he's the only one that's really dropped his pace. So he's being caught by the pack, basically. There he is, coming out of the link section, being caught by Booth. He doesn't use as much road on the exit. Eddie Falkenham certainly does there in fourth position. And Matthew Minetti even more so, way, way out wide. Yeah, that's sort of uh, over towards Northampton somewhere. It's a long way wide, but um, it's plenty of uh, track there because it's where the, um, the circuits link up here at Silverstone. Silverstone with its uh, history going back to the... Uh, the Grand Prix of 1948, um, three years or a couple of couple of years before the 750 Motor Club started its uh, 750 Formula, first champion being Charles Bulmer, an Austin 7 special. But uh, the club has uh, evolved, and uh, this is uh, the premier uh, bike engine single seater class F1000, giving a very, very good account of itself. So Butcher's lead now 1.1 seconds, so he upped his pace a bit on the previous lap, and Clues is catching them there in third. Eddie Falkenham with a standout drive from him in fourth, James Hills in fifth. This is the battle of a six. Jack Tomlin up the inside of Matthew Manette. Now they're side by side as they go through the link section, but I think the net's hanging on, so Jack Tomlin struggling here, Marcus, to gain a place. Yeah, interesting, isn't it? He, had, he was in the right place at the right time yesterday. Uh, and claimed an excellent uh, second place. Now finding a little bit of a reality check. It's, uh, it's difficult out there, and the cars are well matched. The driver's well matched. There's uh, battling anywhere. You can, you can pass on the outside. You can pass on the inside. And uh, he's now trying around the outside at Stowe Corner, the corner of which I watched Jim Clark win the 1967 British Grand Prix uh, for Team Lotus. And uh, these little cars, phenomenal performance. A little bit sideways, a bit of oversteer coming through... Uh, Club for Falkingham in the black car, the back eagle picture. But here is Booth, who is chasing down our leader, 42. Paul Butchery's halved it again. It's down to uh, it's down to 0.7 now. The the deficit between Butcher and Booth. And then catching them both is Dan Clues. Is the quickest of the three in third place. Including this lap, there are three to go. So they are on lap 12. It'll be a 14 lap race. It's a 15 minute time limit and here uh, Tomlin so now he has got six we did get past Manette and then behind Manette are Enogar and Adam Walker so Adam Walker who finished third yesterday has actually dropped down from his sixth position uh, spot on the grid so he's uh, not making the progress that perhaps he would have liked but it's Matthew Manette at the front of this group in seventh as they turn into Stowe Corner once again no challenges within this group but it's that leading trio that um, may well be the focus as they come out onto the start line. I can see out the uh, commentary box window as Matthew Booby. This is Minette, isn't it, with uh, Iyengar behind and Adam Walker, I think, is in there too. It's down to a, a, a second but between the top three now. Yeah, really tight stuff out front and uh, it's boiling up to a, a tremendous uh, crescendo, this uh, F1000 race sponsored by Swallow Hill Homes. Here they are, then the top three, onto the hangar straight for the penultimate time. Can Paul Butcher hold on? He's been out front ever since the beginning. And uh, he must, his heart must be beating very, very strongly now. Dan Clues was having a look down the inside of Matthew Booth as they went out of shot. So Clues trying to uh, get second away. Uh, from him as they go down towards the avail. This is off uh, camera screen, but it's a great battle for the lead. Here's a good battle though as Adam Walker goes down the inside of Alok Inyagar for eighth. So the leaders though will come out of club corner and start their final lap of the race. Just ahead of the cars on your screen, Eddie Falkenham now pulling away from James Hill. Yeah, but you see the, the rear end grip of his car seems to have gone. It's now sliding more and more. Here are the leaders. He did get there. Dan Clues got past Matthew Booth into the veil. So can uh, Clues do it from the reverse grid to get two wins? He's now with Dan Clues in the 10 tenths backed Jedi. 
as they turn their way now through this link section onto the hangar straight. We saw him able to challenge uh, Booth in towards Stowe. It's all Stowe. about exit speed and momentum here because you lose a couple of miles an hour coming into that uh, straight and uh, it might scuff your chances. Now what Butcher needs to do is probably command the centre of the course. He's trying to do just that, but Clues is squeezing his way up the inside and he's robbed uh, Butcher of the lead going into Stowe on the inside. And uh, oh, Butcher's hung on so strongly. If he only de defended a little bit more stoutly there, it might have uh, just been the difference, but it's going to be, uh, unless it makes a mistake just out of our sight, it's going to be Dan Clues again. Uh, who does it? And Booth's got uh, Butcher as well. Butcher trying to come back around the outside of him on the uh, last run up to the flag, and he's going to get his nose just there, I think, ahead. Yes, uh, it's Clues who wins for the second time. Butcher in second place. 1.65 <laughs> seconds lost to the leader between the new leader between Stowe uh, and the end. Booth third, Falkingham fourth, Hills and Tomlin fifth and sixth. Uh, then Minette and Walker, Iyengar uh, and Dean Warren, head of Dax Ward, and Nikita Abramov. So, uh, fantastic uh, F1000 racing, and that sets up uh, Dan Clues for a, a treble here this weekend, uh, Josh. He only won one race in the whole season last year to finish second in the championship. He's already won two in two races, so a fantastic start uh, to his campaign, Dan Clues in the JFK racing team. He was the runner-up in the championship for the previous two seasons, looking to go one better in 2020, and it's a great start. Um, great pace he seemed to have out there, and good racecraft too, just picking them off one by one towards the end. And he got Paul Butcher there into stow on the final lap of the race. So the F1000 cars will be um, out again this afternoon. Um, do get in touch with us on the social media pages, whether you're watching on Facebook or on YouTube. Do post a comment and um, get in touch. Lindsay Brown saying good luck to the MR2 drivers. Well, they will be out uh, later on this morning. We have three further races to go uh, this morning and then five this afternoon. So a busy day of 750 Motor Club racing. And for anybody... Uh, joining us, Marcus. 750 Motor Club, a very much a diverse club with lots of different categories and big grids throughout. Yes, as we're going to see today, um, we've got the majority of our grids are, are really full. We've got a, a long um, enduro this afternoon, uh, which is going to pitch all kinds of, uh, of cars together, uh, touring cars, GT cars, uh, etc. And that's going to be fascinating. But meanwhile, the uh, F1000 uh, competitors are lining up uh, in the pit lane, where uh, hopefully we're going to hear from them. Yeah, so we have a third voice in this Alpha, Alpha Live coverage, and it's Matt Sucklin that's down in the pit lane for us this weekend. Uh, Marcus Pye alongside me, Joshua Barrett, in the main commentary box. So we um, just let Matt get the uh, drivers uh, ready. Of course, socially distanced interviews necessary in 2020 so yesterday Matt did a great job joining us on Alpha Live and he wants more we'll do today I'm sure and of course the top three that uh, we will hope to hear from will be the winner Dan Clues, Paul Butcher in second who just uh, pit kept ahead of Matthew Booth um, so Clues the only driver to podium twice this weekend so um, and we will see, as I say, a third race later on. That'll be set on best lap times over the course of the two earlier races. So we'll see if that uh, will mix the grid up at all. But uh, third place then in round two of the Swallow Hills Homes uh, F1000 Championship for 2020 with Matthew Booth. Second with Paul Butcher. And the winner was uh, Dan Clues. For the second time... This weekend, looking to go for the triple, the F1000 Championship, the only championship to run three times over the weekend here at Silverstone. Uh, two races for all the sprint series, other sprint series, and one race for the two Enduros we have with the 750 Motor Club. So following this will be the uh, five club racing, MX5 Cup, and the Toyo Tires Toyota MR2 Championship, so two one make a uh, rear engine, a uh, rear wheel drive sports car uh, series, and then the longest running championship in the country, the Race Parts 750 Formula Championship, will also race before lunch. So do stay with us on Alpha Live, do get in touch. Uh, thanks to Mark Crawford um, for getting in touch, saying this is awesome. 
lots of new drivers, uh, lots of new viewers come into club racing and come into the 750 Motor Club thanks to the Alpha Live streaming. And we do very much welcome you and are very pleased that you are able to join us this weekend at Silverstone. There'll be more 750 Motor Club racing live streamed throughout the course of the year. And now Max Sutcliffe has managed to grab our race winner. So let's head down to Matt in the pit lane. Dan here with our race winner, Dan Clues. Dan, that was a phenomenal drive through the field. You came from eighth on the grid up to your second victory of the weekend. Well done. Yeah, I'm absolutely over the moon with that. One of the best races I've ever had. It was, it was wicked. Quite a sort of steady away start. It was quite busy. But with the pace that we had yesterday, I thought, OK, if we can just get in some air, we should have the pace over everybody else. And here with the, the big open spaces of Silverstone, it's quite easy to pass people with respect to a toe and whatever else. It's, it's not never easy, should I say, but it's, it's easier than other places. So, uh, so, yeah, halfway through, I thought, well, we might only be third or fourth here, but uh, then it all came to me in the last couple of laps. Paul Butcher made it hard, though, didn't he, to, to get past him? He always does. He always does. Paul and I have raced wheel to wheel for oh, 10 years or more now, and it's nip and tuck between us all the time, and uh, today I came out on top. So I really enjoyed it. Great stuff. Well, Dan. Good luck for race number three of the weekend. Uh, Thank you very much. We'll let you pop off now. We'll grab a quick word, if we can, as well, with uh, Paul Butcher in second place. Paul, come and join us over here. Many celebrations behind for our race winner. Uh, Paul, you failed to get a win last year. It was looking like you might get your first one of the year, but you just missed out there. Yeah, it was a... I, I, need to go back and take a look at the data because backed off a lot isn't either too much or these guys enough so yeah I need to work out it, where, the, where the right level is because that, I think that's what let them catch me up those two laps and then yeah um, and my tyres are pretty much gone at that point so but still second's not bad I'll take that yeah great performance and yeah. we've still got one race to come yeah absolutely I'm not sure where I end up on the grid because it's set on fastest lap in that race and I don't know where I where I come on that but uh, yeah after the Friday we had which didn't go well at all today's gone a lot better good stuff well done Paul thank you there we go